Alright, timer started. Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X, with me, Almeron. And a Proustian. And we are in Kilika. Yes, yes, that's right. I'm like, what am I doing? I'm loading the save file. <laughs> you are loading the save file. <laughs> I hit load, and then it came up with another load confirmation thing. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> That's maybe a little early in the morning for me. Okay, so we were... Heading into the forest, right? Yeah. Oh, look, there's a safe here. <clears throat> I guess I What's could up? come a little further. Yuna is saying she wants you with us. Huh? I want... To ask you to be my guardian. You know what? There's no time for jokes, yeah? He may be a blitzball whiz kid, but up against fiends, he's a newbie. Not a guardian, then. I just want him nearby. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you mean? It's just that. Well. We're all going to the temple anyway. Can't this wait till later? Uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have... There's oh, nothing you to be don't. sorry about. I'm just not really sure what's going on. So I'm an awkward My apologies. <laughs> Can you do spear levels for people? Oh, you know what? Probably. Oh, uh, that's pause. But, um, I think in type zero that I'm also playing, the options button gets me the menu. <laughs> okay. Spear grid. Uh, which way? That's a level four lock. Definitely can't go that way yet. Oh, those are like the knolls, that's right. Yeah, okay. okay. That's as much as we can do. Okay. One more. I totally miscounted there. <laughs> Sorry, if I'd realized that's what you're confused about, I could have told you. Grid is so elegant. It's such a simple. Like, I think 13 has a fairly similar kind of like you advance along the nodes, but you can't see as much of it at once. And here it's all there. You can look at all of it if you want to, really, yeah. fairly easily. It's just a really cool system. All right, Kimari. Let's see, which way do I need you to go? Kimari is going to be my thief until uh, Riku joins. Um, because otherwise, you don't. there's really nothing to do with Kimari. He, he's kind of in the middle of everything. And yeah, all those level 4 blocks around, what, Ultima there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a zoom. Which one is zoom. So which way are you gonna take them, or you're not sure yet? That's yeah, I'm not sure yet. I mean, going up first 
puts you fastest with things. Oh, you can tilt it. That's interesting. Um, the question is, which direction do I need to go to get to? So that's Tidus. going to be Riku. I mean, I yeah. saw Pilfer. Is that Pilfer? Where was it? And There's Steel, Steel, yeah. Okay, so... He's up there. In order to get there, I need a pair of level 2, level 1 locks. Because I can go through this one. So it's going to take a little while, obviously, but... Yeah. That's the general direction I want to move. Okay, that makes sense. I really can't hear you at all. Is it the, the game audio too loud? Yeah. Um, That's better, actually. Okay. I can put my closer to my mouth. Yeah, okay. Okay. It takes a little while, yeah. And one step. <laughs> oh, good. Seed cannon. Kimari, why don't you use Lancet on it? What's a Lancet? Normally, it's a skill that weakens enemies and heals the user. But when a Ronso uses it, that Ronso can sometimes learn Fiend's abilities. Hey, sounds cool. <laughs> also, with the nice new cactar, cactar dog doll. I still can't hear you. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll try that. We have reset some microphone levels, and hopefully, we can. You guys can hear us better too. <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed. Okay. It's hard to tell because I can hear myself quite fine. Right. Obviously. I, I've adjusted things so that the um, the game music is not overwhelming me like it was last session. Mm -hmm. um. Company hot! The fiend before us is Ochu, Lord of the Wood. We've had trouble with this one before. Remember, discretion is the better part of valor. Standing guard, sir. Keep it up. The Ochu is no garden variety fiend. We could throw a hundred crusaders at it and still lose. Really? Ochu poison is a surefire way to get to the far plane and fast. Mm. Oh, thanks. Standing guard. Standing guard. Okay, that's all you're doing. All right. Um. Go to the right, maybe. Ha. Ah. It's a dead end with a treasure chest. The best kind of dead end. <laughs> I was gonna say, in a video game? Yuna! Hey, <laughs> just who do you think you are? <laughs> you, 
You'd best stop that. Walker's in charge of flyers, remember? <laughs> well. That looks like a lightning guy. So. Anyone thirsty? Alright, come on, Walker. I can take care of those alone, huh? Booyah! I was gonna say there was a scout, huh? Is that What's for that? Waka? <clears throat> it is. It Look is. at me. Yeah. Well, well, well remembered. It just seemed familiar. So official ball has nothing. Scout has ice strike and sensor. Okay. Awesome. What? <laughs> I was like, did those people just attack you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, they did. Don't forget to bring Yuna in. I know, I know. The thing is, if I'm too on top of switching everybody in every single fight, then I get bored. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so I gotta strike the balance between uh, just yeah. making sure there's no treasure chests. Between bringing everybody in every fight and um, keeping myself entertained. That makes a lot of sense. And at some point we can edit, you know, a lot of these random encounters out because this is a very random encounter heavy game. Yeah. Lulu, I love you. <laughs> oh, not nice. Nothing to fear, the hero's here! See, I think I get around the annoyance of having everybody in by, like, never bringing in Titus. <laughs> <laughs> but he hits the fast ones. He does, you're right. He does hit the fast ones. But you know what also can hit fast ones? <laughs> and Waka. Nah, I do use Titus sometimes. Right, so... All of those guys, they seem to know where they're going. Two of them! Alright, focus fire one of them. Nice dodge. Ice taking it to the face. <laughs> Gosh, these guys have a lot of hit points. They really do. I mean, she's dealing half of it, but, you know. Yeah. Yuna here! Aid us. Again, nice dodge. I love the little jump back. <laughs> like, it's not a jump to the side, it's just a jump back. <laughs> The best way works. to avoid an oncoming projectile is to just go the same direction <laughs> it's going. <laughs> Warrior sword. Let's 
Strength plus five, strength plus three, it's worse, okay. Thanks. People are very helpful in Spira. It's nice. Yeah. Wee. <laughs> I like to save them up a little bit because it's kind of boring just to go in every single time. Yeah, I agree. Not gonna do the Lord of O2 whatever yet. Mm. You should probably do save first, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go find a save sphere. Too easy. I do like her cactar. Mm-hmm. Alright, so that's where we need to go, so let's not go there yet. Right. It's up here. Because apparently, it's different. <laughs> I know, the paths here don't make actual sense. get like an overkill thing yeah that's the thing in this game overkill I thought I saw Waka get overkill oh yeah yeah maybe so I but I don't know what the conditions are yeah all right little bit weird for me trying to figure out um, who you're selecting. Up, yeah, up, down, versus left, right, because it's... I think it's actually standard, like, up, down is um, switching between your people and their people, and left, right is switching oh, amongst the side. Oh, within the group. Yeah, but okay. I, w I want to make it, like... Um, perspective based like oh left right because it's left right here and up down because they, they're going up down yeah, on the screen yeah yeah that makes not... sense okay um, let's not run straight into it let's instead run back into the save sphere yeah I agree I mean, you'll hit a few random encounters and get in on the way. Um. But I've got a bunch of uh, spear points to, right. to use. Um. Newbie here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Uh, Spear Grid. Yuna. Two. Three. Stop there and use. Then move one more, and then use for... Ooh, magic defense. Nice. Nice. And Waka can go one, two... Can actually go one more, because that's a blank node. Awesome. Strength. Excellent. Silence. Nice. Accuracy. Which way you go this way? Strength up. But we've got. He's gonna have to backtrack a little bit because this is off on its own. Yeah, we're extract oh. speed. I see. That sounds yeah. useful. And then this is going to be the main. Yeah, okay, I see. Yeah. So it's got that little small branch. Yeah, okay. Good to keep in mind. I keep trying to go backwards um, instead of left, right, and it's much faster to go left, right, and um, so I have to keep backing out. <laughs> I've gone the wrong way with him. Yeah, I was about to say, I thought this wasn't quite your plan, but on the other hand... It's going to be a little while till we get the, uh, the, yeah. the, the key spear. So you might as well go, because it's not too bad to backtrack. Yeah, so we'll just, we'll, we'll turn around at this point and Kimari's go back. Kimari's such an awkward, interesting character. I really like him, but I feel like I never end up using him very much, because he's a little more... He's just less focused. Right, than the mm -hmm. other characters, and like part of that is the blue mage thing. You just get kind of a smorgasbord of abilities, and yeah, which can be cool. Some of his, I mean, blue, some of the blue mage stuff can be so good, like white wind or whatever. But and I like Kimari's character, but he's a little bit harder to use, I think. Yeah, it's because he's like a jack of all trades kind of thing, and everybody yeah. else is specialized, and the game is designed around the specializations. Yeah, yeah. So he, he doesn't really have anything um, specific that he that he does uh, that that isn't already covered by somebody else. Yeah. Which is why I'm sending him down Riku's path to start with, because she's the last one to permanently join. Um, mm -hmm. So he can kind of take her place until she shows up, and then I can decide what to do with him there. Yeah. Now what? Yeah, she got the overkill there. Yeah, okay. I wonder if that's like they're more likely to drop treasure or something and get the overkill. I don't know. I wonder if our handy here that I've been ignoring has anything to say about overkill. Does it have anything to say about Lord Ochu? Uh, undoubtedly. I can check that first if you want me to. <laughs> Lord mm -hmm. Ochu is optional. Battle should involve all of your characters. Oh. If you hadn't thought of that. I, I never would have guessed. Keep Lulu in the party the whole time. Yep, that's that's pretty obvious. And cast fire. <laughs> <laughs> nope, he's immune to blind. Okay. He can be silenced. Oh, okay.
って。<笑>2000, you can have Yuna summon Valfor and continue to cast fire spells. By summoning the Aeon, you can avoid Ochu's earthquake attack. <laughs> Use sonic wings between each fire spell to delay Ochu's turn. It'll fall asleep once it loses 2,500 hit points. Um, yeah, use the physical attack to wake it, then it will do the earthquake. But yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> so, like, you don't have to summon Valfor to win, but, like... Maybe you should summon Valfor and just win. <laughs> Shield us from thunderous bane. Look, what's what's the point of having summons if you never use them? It's a good point.
nice. They have um, recommendations and stuff for the sphere grid. Mm -hmm. At least getting started for each character. Oh my god, I just looking, I was going through I see Riku and her mix overdrive, and they have a oh. um, list of things you can do here, and it says a complete graph of recipes can be found on the poster included with the book. Holy shit. It's massive. This. It's like a spreadsheet. <laughs> oh my god. Somebody had to sit down and program all that. Well, figure it all out and then program it all into this game. That's incredible. Still, I'm just trying to figure out what overkill means, and I'm not sure where I will figure that out. So maybe I should actually look at the table of contents here. Oh, oh. These stone steps have a history, you know. Yep, Lord O'Holland trained here at his peak. <laughs> a race, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Think you can beat me? <laughs> Yuna, if you would. Uh, ready! <laughs> hey. I love Yuna. Hey. <laughs> oh. Titus is not quick on the update there. That's because they let me control him. Yeah. <laughs> Overkill, here it is. Hey. Um, Overkill appears when you defeat an enemy with more force than is required. Okay, so that's not very specific. Usually this increases the amount of AP and items the party receives after the battle. On certain rare occasions, it decreases the number of items received. Hopefully that just means because you got really good ones. But yeah. otherwise that'd be weird. Everyone, quick! Sin spawn! Absorb water. Yeah, this does have Lulu cast fire on the tentacles. This recommends. I was just misreading the uh, thing. Okay, yeah. Times 1.5. Is oh, I see, yeah. Half is half damage. So they absorb water, take half damage from the other two, mm -hmm. ice and lightning, and, and just have normal vulnerability to fire. Yeah, and this says the tentacles will absorb magic attacks directed against the body, so just attack those. Oh, does his, his lance have piercing? Uh, maybe. It's hard as rock! My sword's no good! But it's a well-made sword. It didn't break. <laughs> Yeah. 
Hey, Lulu, who has no hit points. Right. She is, her max is so low. Ugh. Glass cannon, black mage. It looks like you can silence this guy as well. Oh, okay. I always appreciate games where status effects actually work on bosses, because, um... Yeah. Here, I don't think I've let you just hit this thing since it came out of its shell, so... There you go. Your sword's much better now, isn't it? <laughs> Ouch. Anytime Lulu gets hit, she goes close to death, so... I know, right? Do it. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> totally wrong. Yep, yep. Hey! Sufficient, though! <laughs> nice job, Waka! As it turns out. <laughs> As it turns out. <sighs> Yeesh! <laughs> Sorry about that. Hope to break you in a little slower. B being a guardian's tiring. <laughs> you handle yourself pretty well. You got talent. <sighs> So, okay. what are these sin spawn anyway? Fiends. They fall from Sin's body and are left behind in its wake. Leave him alone and Sin comes back for him. You gotta be quick. That moment when Waka told me I had talent in battle. I think that was when I started seriously considering becoming a guardian. Waka, I'd just like to point out that you and he fell off the boat and fought a sin spawn underwater already. <laughs> Titus doesn't remember that. That was hours ago. <laughs> it was the, the previous day. We have been to sleep. That's since true. Then. That's true. We have been in. Killed uh, dark for a while. touch. Ooh. Dark ward, stone ward. Hmm. Good to keep in mind. Right. <sighs> so, uh, they got fiends in Xanarkand too? Just a few. It's a big deal when one shows up, though. Uh, hey, since when have you believed me about Xanarkand anyway? I've been thinking. Maybe people Sin gets to don't die. Maybe Sin carries them through time, like a thousand years through time. And then one day, Maybe they just pop back, see? Amazing. Simply amazing. <laughs> you make up one theory after another, refusing to face the simple truth. Sin didn't take Chapu anywhere. Sin crushed him and left him on the Jose shore. Your brother won't just pop back. Oh, and one more thing. No matter how much you want it, no one can take Chapu's place. No one can replace Sir Jekt, for that matter. And there's no replacement for Lord Braska, either. It's pointless to think about it. And sad. Harsh. I was to say Lulu with the harsh truths. I, I could never be what Chapu was. Well, stuff happens. Best not to worry. Waka, Lulu and Waka's brother, Chapu. 
Something had happened between them a long time ago. I was sure of it. Well, yep. whatever it was, it was none of my business, that's for sure. Best not to go there. I was sure of it because Lulu was like beating it into my head with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> they were pretty subtle, but I picked up on it. <laughs> I like how this place kind of looks like a crab. Yeah. <laughs> That's how that works gonna say I'm pretty sure he didn't play hard enough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I hope that works for you. Oh, I can walk on this. I didn't expect that somehow. Where could they be indeed? <laughs> I can steal from this temple of yours? <laughs> you here to pray for victory too? Us? Pray? Who needs to pray? The Luca goers always win. Oh, yeah? Then why are you here? We've been praying for some competition this year. So, what's your goal this time? You gonna do your best again? Ha! It's too bad your best isn't good enough. Why even bother showing up? This time, we play to win. Hmm. Ooh, play away. Just remember, even kids can play, boys. See you in the finals! <laughs> <laughs> we'll beat them. We have to. You know that team? Putting people down. They're as bad as my old man. But Sir Jekt was a kind and gentle man. Well, not my Jekt. Uh... Even ten years after he left, just thinking about my old man got me angry. <laughs> but maybe that was just my way of keeping him... Nah. Nah. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. See, the uh, that that scene with the the Luca goers is what it's like. Well, now we really have to win the tournament, and then it's freaking hard to win the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if if the who are they, the Besaid Orox? Mm -hmm. If they were any good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. No. Oh. <laughs> I feel ya, except I don't like the beach. It's all sandy. I hate sand. <laughs> <laughs> I love the beach. <laughs> Even though it is all sandy. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess we, um, we'd better not enter unsanctioned then. <laughs> right. I'm keeping an eye on my timer. We got a, we got a little bit of time left yet. Please, let Waka's prayers be heard.
I think Waka needs to do a little more praying. <laughs> it was like, Lord O'Holland, keep trying. Feet. I'm trying to fit in here. That's right. When in Spira, do as the Spirans do. A summoner, are you? My name is Yuna, from the Isle of Besaid. Donna? So, you're High Summoner Braska's daughter. That's quite a name to live up to. My, my, my. And all these people are your guardians? <laughs> my, what a rabble. As I recall, Lord Braska had only two guardians. Quality over quantity, my dear. <laughs> Whatever were you thinking? I have need of only one guardian. Right, Bartello? I only have as many guardians as there are people I can trust. I trust them all with my life. To have so many guardians is a joy and an honor. Even more so than being my father's daughter. Of course, I would never think of questioning your ways either. So, Lady Donna, I ask of you, please leave us in peace. You do what you want, Bartella, we're leaving. Damn it, she stood up to me. <laughs> a guardian is someone a summoner can rely on. Someone she can trust with her life. I wondered, did Yuna feel that way about me? Uh. What's she smiling about? Uh. <laughs> Gee, I wonder. <laughs> Alright. I think uh, if we go any further, we're going to get into the temple, and I don't think we can do it in five minutes, so... That, indeed. We should save that for the next time. <laughs> we'll save that for next time. But hey, we did two boss fights. That's right, absolutely. So that's pretty neat. Alright. Next time, the second temple. And Yay. we'll try our, our method of of a Priestian making sure I don't miss the destruction spheres. But also having me try to figure things out a little bit. Yep, that is the plan. We'll see how much I remember, because I have gone through this one uh, before. I think this is as far as I've gotten since, like, the first time I played the game. Well, I did the tournament. I've gone through the tournament, but I don't think I've oh, gotten okay. to You've got until anything Luka. past that. Okay, Bye. yeah. Okay, well, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.